Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Katie and if you followed my channel for any length of time, actually I should say if you followed my channel from the very beginning, five, six years ago, you will know that I've been a Gillian Flynn super fan for such a long time. Now this was pre-Gone Girl days. I remember I was walking through the library and I stumbled across dark places and just the title and the cover really stuck out to me. I was like, this is gonna be a good creepy book. And, and I'm normally not one to like be a hipster and say I discovered something before was popular but you, all I'm saying is I've been obsessed for a really long time. Now as much as I love her books I haven't talked about Gillian Flynn for a long time on my channel just because even though I don't want to talk about this there has not been a book for a while and, and the only thing I've heard about her possibly writing in the future is like an adaptation of Hamlet or something like 12 years from now. That was an exaggeration but not much. Either way I just don't see a book coming out soon and I realized that I've never talked about any of the book to movie adaptations on my channel before. Now I did talk about Gone Girl because I didn't see it for a really long time after it came out, but it was excellent. Dark Places, I don't like to talk about. I just like to pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> now, I actually haven't seen Dark Places yet, so I shouldn't knock it, but I've just heard from everyone I know who have seen it that it wasn't very good, so I don't know. Let me know if you think I should watch it. But as you guys can imagine, I was so excited to hear, and it was actually one of you guys commented on one of my videos a few back, that Sharp Objects is being adapted into an eight-episode miniseries on HBO. As you guys know, I was obsessed with Big Little Lies, the book that was adapted into a miniseries and I think was wonderful. But I've heard through the rumor mill that some of the authors from the Big Little Lies script are gonna be helping to write the script for the Sharp Objects miniseries, which, which means in my mind at least that, that the show is gonna be in very good hands. So today I'm gonna talk about mainly the casting and what I think about it overall. And I do wanna point out, you don't have to worry about any spoilers about the book. I actually haven't read the book in so long that the details are really fuzzy. I do just remember kind of the main plot and how it ended, but that's really it. But again, don't worry. So overall, without any spoilers, Sharp Objects centers around our protagonist, Camille Preaker. She, she's a young woman who's a journalist who's had a number of kind of mental health issues in the past. And after two preteen girls are murdered, she ventures back to her hometown where she has not been in years. She has a lot of very negative memories surrounding wh where she grew up and her parents. So she travels back to try and figure out what happened with these two girls who were murdered. And I also do think it's interesting that this is going to be an eight episode miniseries. Keep in mind, Big Little Lies was seven episodes and that was like a 500 plus page book and I don't remember off the top of my head how long Sharp Objects was but I want to say it was like 200 something pages at the most the low 300 so this is a very short book being adapted into like an eight hour mini series so I assume at least they must be adding a lot of content that wasn't in the book um, which I'm totally fine with so long as you know they do a good job writing the script. So so in terms of casting I'm very very excited that Amy Adams is gonna be playing Camille. I, I know a lot of people kind of stereotype her as playing like happy-go-lucky roles like an Enchanted but but for example if you've seen her in Nocturnal Animals Amy Adams can do dark really well and Camille Prieger's character has quite a lot of issues that she's a very dark character so I have just like no worries or concerns that Amy Adams is gonna do an excellent job. Then in terms of the detective I thought for sure when I saw the casting I had just seen the photo and the actor's name Chris Messina did anyone else think that this was also the puppet guy or the puppet play director from Big Little Lies? for the past month or so when I heard he was cast thought that those two people were the same person but then I looked at a picture of them side by side and looked at them on IMBD and I, and I was like do I have face blindness and, and the kind of third and most kind of key character is Patricia Clarkson and she's going to be playing Adora who is Camille's mother and I think she is going to be excellent in the role. Now again I don't remember the book that well but I, but at least for how I remember Adora I just picture her being very hoity-toity very creepy and like the head of the HOA that like no one wants to talk to in the neighborhood. That's at least how I remember her. I'm pretty sure she was like the terrifying wife in um, what what's it called? Parks and Rex. I think she's just gonna be playing kind of a more like realistic version of that character. So overall I could not be happier with this and again I won't say anything about the ending except for I remember not really loving the ending of the book because I was just like really? So I almost would be happy if they changed the ending for the show. I don't know if they will. So, so I feel very differently about this than Big Little Eyes. Like Big Little Eyes I wanted them to keep the same ending as the book. This I would not care either way if they changed it. So, so please let me know your thoughts on the Sharp Objects miniseries. I cannot wait until it comes out and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.